Longitudinal kinematic evaluation of pharyngeal swallowing impairment in thyroidectomy patients. Dysphagia. 2018 October 8. Authors, M.I., Jun J.P., Kurori M.A., Carnaby G.D., Hong K.H. Abstract. The aim of this study was to assess pharyngeal swallowing impairments in thyroidectomy patients and to delineate the contributory kinematic components. 40 consecutive patients, mean age equals 47.33 years, and 14 age and sex matched Heathy adult volunteers, mean age equals 42.64 years, participated in this study. A videophoroscopic swallowing study, VFSS, was performed one day prior to surgery, and at one week and three months post-surgery. VFSS images were evaluated using the modified barium swallowing impairment profile, MSIMP. Kinematic and temporal aspects of swallowing were characterized by measurement of maximum hyoid and laryngeal excursion, pharyngeal transit duration, laryngeal response duration, LRD, and laryngeal closure duration at each three time points. At one week post-surgery, only pharyngeal impairment was significantly deteriorated than pre-surgery, P equals 0.001. However, at three months, a significant improvement was observed to pre-surgery level, P equals 0.01. Post-surgery, maximum hyoid excursion was significantly reduced in patients compared controls, P equals 0.001. Although the maximal distance of the hyoid and the laryngeal excursion was shorter than before surgery, laryngeal excursion at all three time points was similar to that of controls. At all three time points, LRD was significantly longer in patients than in controls, P equals 0.01. Following thyroidectomy, pharyngeal aspects of swallowing as measured by the MSIMP and kinematic aspects of swallowing were reduced with incomplete recovery at three months. These exploratory data may guide decision regarding management of pharyngeal swallowing impairment with patients undergoing total thyroidectomy. Mid, 30,298,382